Video started. Video title is How to Fix Broken Glasses with One Simple Trick. And uh, also, uh, Most Efficient uh, Tennis and Basketball Practice. Um, the quote that comes to mind is from many books uh, Disregard People's Intentions, um, pay, rather, pay attention to the results of their actions. And <clears throat> when I was watching this video earlier today, I thought, uh, the sound, I think, is what intimidates most people from even uh, trying to learn uh, the court system of basketball. Um, and uh, compared to the court system of uh, tennis, uh, that includes rackets, of course. Rackets missing from uh, basketball. That's why I have a racket here. And I am no racket here. There's a, lot, a whole lot of titles. Uh, videos about corruption also one simple trick to become to appear to be orthodox hebrew and that's just however my hair looks now <clears throat> i'll show how to make uh, traditional hebrew locks and uh, i've been reluctant to make that video because it's like one of the main rules of um, um, the hebrew religion orthodox hebrew especially is uh, that they're not called to fill them it's just they're called locks there's a lot of rap songs about stuff like locks, there's pop lock and drop it, rather um, pop locking in a, it's like a 1980s song on a GTA San Andreas uh, radio station soundtrack. Um, so the result of people's actions, so is he, is he really a, a good coach here uh, making this video? And the answer is no, uh, because so many people are intimidated off of the court uh, from even learning how to, uh, the other rules and especially the word double dribbling it's like you know even that's intimidating right it's all it, there's enough intimidation there and it's uh, very similar to the idea of uh, those signs that say PTSD fireworks you know watch it. that's like what a basketball uh, dribble sounds a lot closer to a firework than um, like it's, like it's like a July 4th fireworks celebration is the sound of inside of a, a basketball court um, similar to like in a racquetball court, the acoustics of the setup, it's like not too dissimilar from a bathroom. And I have a microphone, so it uh, doesn't sound that different. Anyways, could I go ahead and open up this video or show there were some other videos I was going to make? You know, it's just a real simple thing. I got, for surprise, right? a just a microphone. Having like a extra uh, body part or something, having this microphone and trying to mess with it. Um, so I have two racquetball rackets, and the idea is with this. It's not a table; it's a countertop. The idea is just like a, a basketball, right? And what else? You know, if I had a basketball that I don't, are these? I have a question. Are these like a new technology? It's like a, a washing machine type thing to catch dust. They're called dust balls or something. I don't know if they're new technology or old technology. Uh, the sinks here just happen to be whatever. They're very similar to a tennis ball though. Um, so yeah, here would sort of be like a practice. Um, like in baseball, they have practice bats that are called donuts that are put on a bat to make it extra heavier. These are even lighter than tennis balls. And I'm just thinking wiffle ball uh, from the Beastie Boys song, uh, Paul Revere. Um, so I was just gonna have like a TikTok type dance video with this, um, sort of comparable to this here. The sound is just so awful. I don't even wanna have the headphones on. Do you see, you see the guy down here doing this? And the idea is to start the video out. It's like, wait, what if I had a third basketball that I could headbang to? Like a Beavis and Head type song, headbanger song. See how he's like, he's doing this and all these different things like that. Um, the idea with the tennis racket is, I don't know what. Oh, Wilson, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, I can, I'm ambidextrous, so I can do this and that. <clears throat> The idea was, uh, if I was gonna like write a paper because I'm ambidextrous, 
I could have a camera view like this, and I'm playing, I don't have my controller, I forgot my controller, where I'm playing video games driving with one hand on PlayStation, and with my right hand, I'm writing, like your mom, a letter. And then, like, I'll show me writing it as I'm, like, driving around, and I'll have a view from here that actually would be, like, I'd be, like, more like over there. And that's in the foreground is a view like this that can be seen here, over here on this part. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even. It's so small over here. It would be a view like this. So I'm like driving like that, and uh, uh, Michael Rapaport in uh, Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in True Romance. Um, the main theme of this, what I've been watching most recently, is on Saturday Night Live uh, last night. The song, uh, not Alejandro, not Alessandro Volta, Aristotle, the Greek, is the actor's name. Um, before, I'm just experimenting. I, why did I look at that? I looked right into it. That was a, one of those artificial like LED bulbs, and that's a traditional bulb over there. Um, bulbous. Where did I said yesterday? Pompous. I don't know if those words are similar. I just I think they are. What, what am I talking about over here? Is that still going on? Is the sound there? Okay, so here's another source of uh, inspiration uh, for this video. When I found the best tennis player in uh, GTA. And what's funny about I I have to adjust the volume just to be sure. Oh, there's no sound. I'm like excited. Yeah, I'll just go with halfway. Oh, I can hear the guy talk. Forget it, I was about to mute him. The best tennis player in the game. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was pretty good. The cross. Hit the club. Light the club up. Uh, I'm just joking. Um, okay, so the best tennis player in the game. I have me playing tennis on in uh, in GTA it's one of the most fun features and the thing about tennis coaches is when they tell you they only have to tell you one time how to be a good tennis player and people who have never taken lessons will never find out like ever and there's for every one person who knows how to play tennis there's a hundred people who think they know but they have no idea and so it's, it's comical those are just random uh, GTA streamers I'm trying to keep a list there's only like 15 people there Oh, B. That video wasn't like I thought it would be. Okay. Um, what was another source of inspiration? This is supposed to be an action video now. Looks like my phone has crashed. Oh, the Pink Panther. Um, oh, this is so funny. I was going to add into my Watch Later playlist. Um, Okay, so I was going to watch this video over that video. It's hard to tell because it's sideways now. I think it was that video, I don't know, one of these videos. Um, and have a uh, Rock and Robin song superimposed the audio Rock and Robin. Um, because when I started recording it, it goes, my phone goes, and I start singing tweedly tweedly tweet. Tweedly tweedly tweet, tweedly tweedly tweet, tweedly tweedly tweet. Uh, rocks in the treetop bald, of course, right? Uh, Rocking Robin. Uh, not to be confused with Tony Anthony Robbins. Um, and so the Pink Panther, uh, there's a new welcome edition. Uh, first new cat since April. Uh, living with us now. And when. You know, I've been hearing about him for months, hadn't seen him until yesterday or the day before. You know what? Yes, he's finally been here for one entire 24 hours. Uh, he felt he's already replaced the cat that was living here for 20 years, spent more time in the house than any of us, and what else? What else about him? I thought it would be really funny when I saw that there was a, in the master bathroom, that there was a space prepared for him with a, a litter box, food, a little bed, and all this stuff. So I thought, I'm gonna go inside and sit inside the glass shower and 
just kind of sit there on a like a milk crate and I when he when they bring him in and I'm gonna sort of like so he can hear my voice first before he even sees what I look like I had this all planned out I have one of these videos going in the background and the rest is history no I'm just joking it was just a I was trying to make a good impression first impression on him and what's so funny is what it reminds me of now that I did that yesterday is if today I added on my watch later playlist a video of Anthony Hopkins and then what's that uh, book it's like a classic literature that everyone's supposed to read in school through the looking glass um, Anthony Hopkins through the looking glass right so because it's like a glass shower and I was just sitting in there and the acoustics of it I started singing this song ba bum ba bum yeah, so I can I can do that on both sides of my mouth. I can inhale and exhale. Actually, no, I can't inhale that. But when I'm whistling, I can. It's a, sort of like a, a harmonica type thing. So I can inhale and exhale uh, whistling. Uh, I cannot do the saxophone sound like that though. I just tried. I should have not. Two arcs in the treetop. So now I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I, uh, trying to not do this, uh, so music stuff with my, uh, voice box. It's, uh, I'm just thinking that 50 cent song. Boom, 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 boom. So it's five bass hits and six snare hits with my mouth. And was so I wasn't gonna mention this. Fifty Cent's first mixtape is sixty minutes long, and I was looking at it on the track list on YouTube, and the different numbers of minutes in the song correspond to my life. Um, thus far and I've never seen any other album such as that it almost seems as if it was written for me specifically it was released in 99 I was born in 88 uh, 50 Cent Curtis Jackson was um, he was uh, born in 1977 and the real 50 Cent who took his name from the uh, JFK headpiece uh, Half Dollar um, his name's Kelvin Martin, and he was deceased as, around the same year I was born anyways. Um, so that's neither here nor there. There's something that, I don't know, if there's, ah, I wasn't going to mention all this stuff. The word pep, okay, like a pep boy. <clears throat> I'm sort of, I never would have imagined that I would try to be like a pet boy it's like a male cheerleader or something um because our football team local football team is doing better than they did or great they're doing great now and i'm uh pepped about it it's it's like a pepper thing so in my most recent vlog i think i mentioned the saturday night live funniest joke ever about more cowbell and even funnier than i have a a yeast um, what is it? I have a yeast fever, and the only prescription is more yeast, like the song uh, "Bad Medicine" Bon Jovi, or uh, Night Nurse Gregory Isaac, uh, 1970s uh, reggae song. Those are real quotes, and of course it applies to the guitar playing of. <laughs> And, um, you know, people listen to that song every day, B. So the funniest way about that is pepper. Uh, it's sort of like asking like a, a waiter or a waitress. It's like I've got an appetite, and the only thing that's going to cure it is more yeast or pepper, more pep. It needs more pep, like uh, the waitress, uh, Rachel, a.k.a. Jennifer Aniston, in Office Space, when she's working at... Uh, What's the name of the restaurant? And the flair, 
uh, when they're talking about flair, the idea of that is pep, having more pep. So like having pep for Texas or something and uh, more pieces of pep. So because New York City is the largest city in North America, um, Mexico City is the largest city in uh, Central America, Mexico is comparable if Italy is like Texas and Europe, um, Mexico is like the Mediterranean Sea. And that's just what I think about that. I, uh, you know, heart to Mexico from Texas with high regards and respect. Uh, plus one respect. Um, Mexico. So, uh, let me, let me give myself, I'll give myself something more to think about. I've, I, I don't know, I've just mostly been watching my own videos. Um, I can just find a, a random one. That was when I mentioned uh, uh, Tom Green. I have a lot to say about this one. It includes Ba with Ba song. Uh, the funniest title is D.B. Cooper deplaned the plane. Like, the plane, the plane. D.B. Cooper deplaned with a plane. Uh, an incline. Like, the word plane is like an inclined plane. And there's different systems, uh, different whatever they're called. Uh, there's screw drivers, right? The simple whatever it calls in science. How much power I got? Uh, two pairs, too much stuff happened. I have full power. And if I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember what happens. I know my videos are really loud, so I can superimpose whatever I was watching before. I can have that going on in the background. So there's like, I don't know what my notifications say. Not much. So I started. Whatever I was listening to before, I think the basketball video. It's just one of those shirts. Uh, Fred, Fred Durst song. It's just one of those shirts. That's a headbanger. It's just one of those shirts. It's all about the he said, she said. I can't believe I didn't have Debbie uh, do her guitar uh, emotion action in this game with that, along with that song. Instead I had to do this uh, knuckle crunching. Let's see if I can get it. That was a knuckle. Knuckle popping. Popping, popping, chopping, chopping. Yeah, so I have two racquetball rackets and the idea is to practice with these. I, don't, I didn't even take the thing off. Oh yeah! Like a bunch of Bushido shit uh, with my other character. It's right handed. And definitely don't forget, David, personal note to self to do a video like this, recording like that, me playing Grand Theft Auto driving with one hand and writing your mom a love note, romantic letter, and have it like the video companion piece. And I got too many ideas. It's, it is what it is. That's that, isn't it? That's that. Where's uh, some of my recent videos when I was rapping and playing Need for Speed? I got so much stuff. I was just gonna have that one song, I've Seen Better Days. Is that in the background? If I cross that out, is the whole phone gonna crash? No one's ever done anything like this in any app, so to speak. I'm so glad I removed autoplay, yo. Because it gives me like a, at least a couple of seconds. I always need a couple of seconds. Like, what did I just watch when it ends? Four unavailable, unavailable videos are hitting. Here's a song I'm talking about. I was like, wait, was this an accident? Sometimes I accidentally put... So Citizen King is like Colonel Kurt's uh, character. And also like Citizen Kane the movie, right? Uh, Colonel Kurtz is a fictional character from a book before movies were even 
before it, they even had motion pictures. So before they even had motion pictures, it gets more and more like orthodox, going further back into history. So with orthodox Hebrew, right, there's something called, it's not tefillin, it's something like that. They're just locks. And uh, generally speaking, a uh, man's wife is the only person, he's not even supposed to do it himself. Uh, like it's like really like, don't even try this at home. The idea is uh, to have uh, it's it, the reason that one of my Redux uh, playlist is like this because whatever my uh, Watchlighter Overflow Redux starts off with Snatch because Benicio del Toro uh, Toro's featured. I'm not going to get into it. Toro's the name of a boat in GTA, like the wood grain boat. So, like, even, like, every microscopic movement, it looks like I'm just, like, I think a quote, a quote from my uh, video the other day, or not the other day, whatever, that I was just watching. Um, I can't remember what it was. Like, every microscopic movement that I make is, like, so far outside of man territory. It's Orthodox Hebrew. And these are called locks, like. Uh, dreadlocks, right? And it's like a traditional uh, Orthodox Hebrew. And the reason that the word holy is because hotness and holy are like very similar words. And I'm just thinking of the John McClain quote, ho, 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 or uh, Dr. Dre quote, ho, 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 from <laughs> song Keep Their Heads Ringing. Um, Looks like my video is about to crash and the phone and everything. Definitely check out Better Days. Like I've seen a Better David. No, you ain't. I'm David and Goliath. Yeah, that's my nickname, right? My full given name is David Anthony Petrino, but my nickname is not David Anthony. David and Goliath. You're David and Goliath. David Anthony Petrino. Uh, so that's. That's it. That's it, man. Um, it's okay. It's okay, man. Uh, that's all. Uh, watch later playlist hasn't been updated in a long time. Uh, I don't know what else to add. I added uh, every single month, every single song, most popular, best selling songs of the 1960s. Uh, for the first video that I've added in like one or two weeks, so I'll try to get back onto that. So I suppose this video is um, for Facebook and YouTube. Hello and um, awkward pause. This video is for uh, Facebook and YouTube. Um, there's some videos that I've posted on YouTube that I just didn't upload on Facebook. It's hard to upload one hour videos. I don't know why. I'm not complaining. It's just, I don't know why it's uh, a lot easier to upload one hour videos. I mean, this, with this um, app that I use, a 30 minute video is only, I don't know, 100 megabytes in the hundreds of megabytes. Uh, so if I use the traditional um, standard default camera from Samsung, 30 minute video is going to be like 15 gigabytes and so 1.21 gigawatts anyways I, i'm just rambling now so yeah it's six in the morning uh get ready for the next episode all right uh, talk to you later ttyl r-o-f-l m-a-o the song i have to watch that and add it to my watch later playlist and retitle a playlist the pay no mind list quote from uh, Tommy uh, D. Simone from uh, Goodfellow's character, the pay no mind list I heard to, overheard today. Uh, I don't know. Did I show that? Yeah, my glasses broke and they still work. They still work even though, you know, whatever. Um, a few more things to say. Oh, here's what I was going to do. Because when playing like a video game or 
uh, whatever thing to do. So with one hand, right? So say I'm playing my video game doing one-handed driving or something with this hand, my left hand. The other thing that I could do is uh, stretch. Everyone knows the leg stretch like this. It doesn't even really look like I'm doing anything. I'm not really doing anything different. I'm standing on one leg this way. Uh, Tony Robbins actually talks about that. Most people can't, don't know how to do that. Balance and stretch. Um, mentioned in my, uh, I'm starting to fall over. It's just a stretch. I just stretch with one hand. Right? I stretch my foot out this way. It's just the easiest way to do it. It's just the easiest way to stretch. I can play video games. I can write, whatever. And then with my other one, like this. I haven't done that in over 10 years until today or something. So uh, occasionally do that. Uh, David. Actually, I'm talking to myself, so um, I suppose that's all for now. Um, just remember, I guess the public notice was basketball is very intimidating, right? The, especially the sound. It sounds like fireworks. And I don't think a lot of people understand that veterans uh, have PTSD, and when they hear fireworks, it's sort of they start having a fight and flight response, like when they're on the military and the battlefield and in combat and stuff. And so. The tennis is not like that. Um, it was just a soft topic or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that. Uh, talk to you later.